Look, that's how the terrorists win, is when brave men do nothing. Is when, when... Terrorists in the Target parking lot? <sighs> Woody Weebski! Wee! 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 That's a... Look, they had a cart return right over there. It's right on the other side, but it's all the way on the other side. Weebski! Woody Weebski! Weep! Weep! Your cart's right there. You left your cart blocking the spots! We'll see. I think she's getting out. I'm with the Cart Narcs. We're a highly trained group of sexy agents who help folks take the cart back when they momentarily think about leaving it out, blocking other people. Can you do this like seven days a week? Good question. I would like to, but I don't. But I could be at anywhere, anytime. Point being now, we have this cart here, can roll away and hit a car. But you guys are great people who are gonna turn, I'm sorry? I understand. I've been there. You've, oh, you've been, you've been had your car hit by a cart? No, no he I've worked pushed like cart. in the cart. Oh, right. And, other, right. right. And so, yeah, eventually the cart returners will be out here, certainly. But in the meantime, that cart is loose. Yeah, I still have to be today. No! <laughs> <laughs> at least you didn't lie about it, though. Yeah. But don't you want to feel better? You know how good you'll feel at home? It's like you, you, you always, like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. But when you're done with the gym, you're like, I'm glad I went to the gym. People have like hipper like health things that Shh. you shouldn't like ask about. Have I asked about your health yet? No, but you don't know if like someone is unable or That's true. They need to take advantage of the Absolutely correct. But what I've seen so far you should talk to people but not like nicely like I am so far? Have I been haven't I been sweet? Trying to like stop us as the as we're truly present. I'm just I just waved you down, that's all I did. I, no, I'm not trying to say that this is a bad thing. Like, I'm not yes. at all. Thank you. Look at that man. Look what he's doing. Look, he's doing the right thing. Great job, sir. Good. Maybe approaching it in a different way where you talk to people about like, hey, did you know that a lot of carts are left? Isn't that what I've done so far? That you like stop putting those down. Right, right. I got your attention with my wand. So for safety, make sure you knew who I was and what I was talking about. I feel like I've done what you're asking. When I see someone approaching me in a parking lot, like I really am not flat like. That's why I'm very open about who I am. We've got cart narcs on our chest. I explain perfectly what we do, right? No, I understand. But like, so now that, now that we've had a great talk. Some, like, instead of trying to tell people like you're a bad person. But I didn't say bad person. I mean, that's kind of, instead of maybe just educate people like the statistics of how many cars get hit by cars. It's, it's not good. Maybe talk about like the actual facts and information rather than right. standing in front of someone's car. Right, but I can't, I gotta like wave you down because I can't talk through your window, right? I have to like, oh, hey, pardon me. Right, but you can talk to people who actually want to come up and talk to you and you can say like, this is what we're here for instead of. I'm not, I'm not quite, so how would you, I'm gonna be fair. How would you do it? If you were me, how would you, if you saw someone leave their car? Set up like information and have <laughs> like a booth or something. But like, but lazy bones don't wanna to come to me. They wanna be, they wanna scurry off and be lazy bones. No, I, I'm not, I totally agree that it's a issue, like right there. Where? Oh yeah, we, I was just over there picking up carts when I saw you guys, yeah. Like I can total. I'm not trying to say, but like coming in front of someone's car and like waving in front of them to like, so you would, uh, to be to be fair, so you should I should like set up a booth, like with information. Like we were, like us not, you know. So I'm just so I would have like a like a booth that said, hey, here's why you should return your. So I'm going to Target and be like, some guy just approached me like out of nowhere and. Not out of nowhere. I didn't jump from the trees. I I waved. I was like, hey, how's it going? And I pointed to the cart. I'm just saying that some people are not really open to talking to strangers. But you've done a great job. You've done, you've done, may I say, an excellent job for both you guys of, of having a great conversation. Of course, but we kind of have somewhere we need to be and like... What about that cart? Are we gonna get the cart? I mean... Is he? Yes? He does not want to. <laughs> and I'm saying, be the better person, D dig deep inside your heart and say, you know what, today I'm going to pick up after myself. And I'm every other day today, I'm just being crazy. <laughs> but we've had like a five minute conversation. We could have- I understand, I understand. but like it's I'm funny because- side. we're Yes! Trust we me, do this I'm on all your the time, side. And yeah. then the one time that we're like, it's really gross out. 
My shoes hurt. Like your feet hurt. He doesn't want to do this. <laughs> He's just. I will get. So one day that you're gonna come up to us and like. That, but that's the point of the cart arts. We're like, we we could be anywhere, anytime, and we're not forcing. Sorry. I don't believe in my farm stuff, and he says I don't think you guys should like go out of line. Like. Stop. Stop crying. Wait, the way that you like came up to our car when we were clearly like I was talking to him, our windows were closed, like. Should I have like taken a number and wait, wait for a conversation opportunity? What I'm saying is maybe people who are open to the information instead of like flagging people about like something, maybe just give people information and have them do what they want. Like a pamphlet on the windshield or how it, what, like I'm honestly asking. Yeah, no, I'm saying like maybe have some, like the booth idea or like maybe little business cards with information, like Give it to people who are interested in your... Well, I do have a sim something like a business card. It's a magnet. It says Lazy Bones on board. But you don't want that because you guys, you guys aren't going to be lazy to do it. Take that. Ah, you want... Like I'm saying... No, no, it's, you can have it if you want to. It's got our phone number. Oh, but like... Did you like it? I mean a business card. I've got... Well, I've got different versions. i got that. I've got a... Uh, oh, and i got a giant one so they don't return my shopping cart like a jerk. But you don't want that one, do you? But what I'm saying is like maybe something that's can hand out where people come up to you and ask you for information about But uh, to use your analogy about Crime Stoppers, you know, if you go to a, if I set up a booth outside of a bank and it says reasons not to rob the bank, our bank robber's gonna be like, oh, let me go over there and talk to them about that. To, again, this is not bank robbing, obviously. In a potentially, like, I mean, crime is a very different thing than just coming up to someone who's not putting their car away. That is a civil liability though. If it, if it were to hit somebody else's car, it would be your fault. Not that it did, not that it's going to, but I'm saying hypo, there are, you can go to like a uh, small claims court has these sort of cases all the time. You can see like Judge Judy cases where somebody left their, you know. Right, but I'm not gonna tell you to go stand in the middle of like a standoff, like crime stuff. That's not what I'm. So I, th I think we've had a pretty productive conversation. I do like the pamphlet idea, the, the booth idea. But now, let's get back to the point at hand. Are we going to take our card back? I'm not taking it back. He's not taking it back. The way that like, you, like, approached and, like, flagged us down, like, that immediately, when I see someone, like, I just, usually I don't have the greatest inter interactions with people just, like, waving me down in public. But, like, you guys, but you guys were nice. This was a fantastic interaction. We both, we've shared information. We've had a nice conversation. But I've had some pretty bad experiences with people just, like, Oh yeah, sure. Like, so obviously, this is not a card. Sure, this could be a solicitation or a carjacking. I get that, but that's obviously not what's happening. I, I'm very clear about what I'm talking about. Obviously, I don't want I don't want anyone to be scared. Obviously. I mean, that best from open. What do you mean? It just says cartnarks on it. I I'm not into anything like that. But like that, you know what that best is, right? Yeah, it's for my protection. Right, exactly. So you're admitting yourself that you need some protection by just walking up to people? Well, unfortunately, not you all, because you all are lovely, but there are some lazy bones who have gotten a bit angry because they're like, you can't tell me what to do, and I'm that's that cart, I don't give a two rats. You're putting yourself in danger. Like, some say I'm a hero for that, but I, 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 don't, I don't use that word. That's a big statement, man. Like. I, okay. Get him. Thank you, sir. Thank. You. So that's one of our fans right there. He's uh he knows what we are. Agree yourself with us. Well, it can be. It can be. But you just go stand and have people who want to talk. But that's who I don't need to reach the people that want to talk to me. I need to reach the people that don't want to talk to me. Again, you Alvin Lovely. Okay, you're an Instagram. Oh, I have that. Okay. Here. And that's where like that guy probably sees our YouTube or our Instagram or. If you're wearing a vest like that. That's true, absolutely. Maybe rethink. Look, that's how the terrorists win, is when brave men do nothing. Is when, when... Terrorists in the Target parking lot? All right, you're getting a magnet. Uh, cart terrorists, obviously we're being a bit hyperbolic with that sort of language, but that was probably the longest... I've had some long conversations with people who were like, want to talk, which she did. Gotta watch for a second, because sometimes they stop and throw the magnet off. Which I believe is what's going to happen here. Oh. Hey, did you want to talk? Do you want to reconsider that little conversation? Oh, yeah. Shadow! 
You can keep it if you want to. Don't litter. But you that, that, I'm saying that so you take it. I don't want it. Well, you can. But don't you want to learn how to be a better person? I'll get out of the way. See? Don't be a litter bug. Person? I just had a nice conversation with you, and now you're telling me I'm not a good person? Well, for, for the moment, yeah. Uh-oh. You see, they go something to the effect of F off. That is so nice. Until just now. So was I. I'll let her go. There's a, she's getting in the way of traffic. Um, <laughs> I think... She's like a little philosophy on you there. Right, but I think... But her philosophy was... Again, her philosophy was... We went through it pretty well there. Was preach to the already converted. Preach to the guy that drove by and said, Hey, go Cartonarchs. That's not what Cartonarchs is for. The, the people who are responsible and who are picking up it for themselves love them but that's not who our message needs to get to our message is to get to her and yeah. and i don't you don't know if you heard really well because her uh i guess boyfriend was in the far side of the car but he at least was admitting that like i'm just feeling like i'm being lazy today like he didn't she kind of gave us that we were something we got somewhere to be you hear that like she got somewhere we got things to do which clearly they didn't because they had plenty of time to sit there and argue with me thank you for your work sir appreciate it um, also suggesting a booth, set up a booth. <laughs> an information booth. No, but what she brought up with a panel about, like a pamphlet, I should say, about like um, information about like the average cost. Because I get messages from car guys, body work guys, like, oh, I've had X number of people bring in dents, you know, dented doors and stuff. And it costs, you know, anywhere from 500 bucks for a little scratch up to, you know, sometimes thousands to pull out a dent, which are the more extreme cases. I get it. Actually, we had one case where a lady, she sent me an email with a bunch of photos where the parking lot was kind of up on a hill by like near a road and one of the loose carts went down the like the entrance to the store. She was just happy to be driving by, rolled under her car, like totaled her car. So that would be the most extreme case. But I do enjoy encounters like that one because it was it was just talking Now she was wrong and everything she was saying. As far as how to convert to people, she was trying to, again, pretend like I was a danger. Again, if she felt like I was uh, being a danger to her, they would have been out of there. They wouldn't have rolled the window down, much less had a 10-minute conversation, but... I don't believe you were using <laughs> No, no, no. That, but see, that's why people ask, well, oh, why do you have a body camera? Because, like we just saw there, they'll kind of tell their side of the story, and when you have it all on camera, the... Uh, the viewer can decide for himself. Oh, by the way, I, did, I probably haven't mentioned this for our viewers here. This is a fine gentleman from Fortune Magazine who's doing a piece on the carton arcs, just FYI. Just, if you're wondering, that's, that's who it is. That's right. Thank you, fellow carton arcs. Happy to be aboard. Carton arcs out. <laughs>